Nope, that's not the moon. Hello, YouTube. Mike Walgman here, Mushroom Rangers. Today, I'm going to go over four points. The first point I'm going to go over is maintenance of your steam sterilizer. If you use these metal drums with the lining, over time, the 220 degrees will make the paint or the lining chip off so you got to do maintenance on this uh, I've had this barrel this is my original barrel the first steam sterilizer I built out of metal I've had it for three years and you can see it's got some wear and tear what happens is the paint flakes off because again of the 220 degree water temperature and it'll pull, pull the paint off of just about anything. So what I'm going to be doing today is um, I took a drill bit with a wire brush attachment and went in here and wire brushed all of what I could until my battery died. The, the paint that was chipping away uh, got some of the rust. As you can see, it's different colors. The red stuff is the rust and it came from right here because this originally was a closed top so what I did is I drilled a hole and took a saw saw and then just drilled the top out and as you can see the blade kind of scuffed it up right here so what I'm going to be doing is washing it out with some uh, pot and pan detergent if you've seen my other videos about cleaning your exhaust I used that Betco stuff I should get all the grease and I don't know where the grease came from. It was probably up underneath the seals originally. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. The maintenance and then applying over the next week a new heating element. Because my old one burnt out just like the other one. Because I left it run too long and the boil dried and then it cracked. So some soapy water. A scuffy sponge and some SOS pads this is how I'm going to get this bad boy cleaned up. And then once it's all cleaned up, I'm going to go back in once my battery's charged again and clean it again. Try to get some of this uh, rust off, more rust, and then clean it out again. And then once it's all clean and dry, I'm going to try some stove paint. I'm going to paint parts of this where there's rust just to cover it back up and since stove paint is good up to 600 degrees maybe just maybe I won't get the paint uh, the paint peeled off that was the first point the next three points are there are three different ways you can make steam sterilizers one is out of a plastic drum the benefits of a plastic drum is they're cheaper they're cleaner however the bad part about them is over time after so many cycles I don't know how many cuz I've never really used one to an extended amount of period but what happens is where where it's sealed the plastic over time as the heat of the water will soften this seal and then it'll split down the seam and then all your water will gush out and all your steam will gush out so if there was a way around not getting the seams to split, I would use a plastic drum. The second option is this steel drum. You can get them from Uline, Uline.com. You can get them in 35, 55 gallon. I think you can get them all the way down to 20 gallon if you're just first starting out. So that's one way to get them. A good thing about them is they're durable. They're made of steel. And if you buy them without a closed top, It'll come with a top that goes right on, obviously, top. That way you don't have to cut it. And then the third way, the most expensive way, is you can buy stainless steel drums, 55 gallons. The benefits of those are obviously they're metal. They don't rust because they're stainless steel. And they're cleaner. The drawback is... They're pretty expensive. They're like 350 bucks for one barrel. So if you got 350 bucks to spend on a barrel, 
go right ahead. I don't, so that's why I went with this drum. Again, these drums are very durable, and when this thing has pretty much gotten all the life out of it I could use, uh, I can use it for all the, uh, different purposes. I can bung up the hole with some RTV or another piece of metal and then just, you know, store stuff in it. You know, emergency supply. A 55-gallon drum full of tulip paper or I could put wheat bran in it. Anything I want to keep dry, anything I don't want to expose from the elements. I could use it as a composter, a burn barrel, whatever. Again, multi-purpose. But if you're going to use for a burn barrel, they're going to rust pretty quick because of the heat. Obviously, the heat will peel the paint off and then it'll heat the metal up. And the rain will get to it and then it'll rust. So many, many uses I could, uh, you know... You go up to Niagara Falls and go over the falls in a barrel. If I really wanted to. But I don't want to go to jail. Nor do I want to die. So, today is more maintenance day. You always have to require maintenance on pretty much everything you use for mushroom cultivation. Whether it's your pressure cookers when the seals, seals wear out. Your fans when they need to be cleaned. Your lights, if they burn out, your ultrasonic humidifier, if it ever goes bad, or the discs go bad, so you have to tear it apart and clean it. So that's going to be part of your daily dues in your mushroom business. I would turn this around and show you my face, but every time I seem to take videos of me showing my face, they always take a thumbnail of me with my mouth hanging wide open. So if you've seen all my videos with my head half cocked and my mouth hanging wide open I didn't do that on purpose that's just the way YouTube does it so I'd rather have them take a thumbnail of the burnout bottom of a barrel than my head cocked sideways with my mouth hanging open and my eyes crossed so that's that's what Sundays are usually for uh, for me anyways is maintenance making videos uh, preparing for the next week um, you're going to see some changes on my videos. You're going to see some of them go away and some of them come back. Because I'm starting to hone in on how to actually make videos better. Um, I got an intro. I have a banner. I need a closing statement. And some uh, clickable links. Just to make my page better and more enticing to other people. And get my message and information out there in a more clear and concise manner. So I can attract more subscribers and viewers. T-shirts are going to be on the way. I'm building my website. My labels for my woozy bottles are on the way. And if I pan over here, you can see the shoot is still. The pneumatic hammer isn't made yet because I still have time. I still have my whole truckload of sawdust up at my building to run through before I can uh, switch over so I'd rather run through all that sawdust because I like sawdust and it's cheap however during the winter months I can't use it because it freezes and uh, my mixing area isn't big enough to hold the tote to bring it indoors so I'm going to be burning through that this year see how fast I burn through it if I burn through it pretty fast, I'll probably get another truckload and try to burn through it before the winter gets in. That way, when winter gets here, I can switch over to my pneumatic bagger. So I can continue to make bags throughout the time when there's snow or ice or sub-degree weather. So I don't have to stop my production and then start all back over for like four months from then. So that's where I'm going. I uh, hope you like this video. Tell your friends, tell yourself, like, subscribe, comment. Blessed be and keep it fungi.